guys, the queen has finally arrived. She's come all the way from the Netherlands again. So this is from Ant's Kingdom. Uh, just took off the address label, obviously. And I am literally unboxing her live. Now, I believe she was sent on Monday. Um, and today is Wednesday. It's been very hot. And the post person just shoved her through my letterbox. So I hope she's not damaged. Before we open her though, um, there's an update on the colony. I finally was able to get out the queen. I have been doing some, you know, like, um, filming. <laughs> that is what I do. Um, I've been filming the ants, uh, with my microscope and I'd noticed they had started to full on eat the queen. And, um, so I captured this. Actually, uh, they left her just out and stopped going up to her and everything so I managed to get her out and as you can see she's kind of an empty shell now um, they did have her in there for quite a few months so um, it's nice to finally have her out I think they're done with her I I honestly don't know what happened in that situation why she randomly died or why she left the nest um, but with this Queen I'm probably not going to introduce her to the current colony. Let me just open this. Ooh. Oh, she's alive. It's all good. She's alive. We got our little Ant's Kingdom sticker here. I'm sorry if you can see my knobbly knees. I'm wearing shorts today. As I said, it's quite warm. So she's in here. And the reason I'm not going to move her in with my current colony is because oh she has a brood we'll look at that in a sec um the reason being is because there's a lot of debate whether it's a good idea whether it's not some people say it'll be fine uh, some people say just don't and considering she's had a long journey she survived this long the last thing i want to do is pop her in with a colony that has already eaten their last queen and may reject her so as much as I love the current colony I have, I think we're just going to have to keep them until obviously the last worker dies and we're going to give this queen hopefully a good chance of survival. Here is where my current colony live. They are surrounded by a lot of plants and a sticker of me. Those stickers are actually still available if you are interested, however there may be a break over May I think. But they're still taking orders. Anyway, um, yes, this is where the current one is. There's an air plant there, ignore that. Um, but right here is a queen. And this is the old test tube. I managed to actually disconnect this because they stopped using it. Um, and as you can see, it's quite disgusting in there and has no water in there. And here is the queen. So you may be able to see her she does have a brood which she's carrying around and since she's been on quite a journey i am going to cover her up keep her in the dark and just let her rest probably not even go near her for at least a week because i really think she needs to um not get stressed out quite a lot as you can see she's got one it looks like um it's gonna be a first worker she's got some eggs some larvae so She's definitely fertile and that's handy, but yes, I'm going to let her completely cl calm down. Sorry if you can hear everything outside. It, as I said, it's a warm day and this window has to be open otherwise my room would get way too hot. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you with some footage that I took of the ants the other day. Um, I know this was a bit of a short video probably, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And now we finally have a new queen. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And goodbye.